Hello everyone! Today we are doing the birthstone book tag. I don't I don't think I was tagged to do this, but whenever I ask for videos to film, Jay from I think the awkward bookworm, she always suggests this tag. She also created this tag, so I'm finally doing it. I've actually already filmed this before, but I can't find the video anymore, so doing it again. For this tag we have a prompt slash question for every month and its birthstone. Starting off with January and the Garnet, which is associated with warding off negative forces and dark energies, so name a book with the darkest slash evilest character you can think of. I'm gonna go with King Lek from the Graceling series. This is a companion fantasy series and the villain is actually what connects these three stories. I remember him being quite evil. For February and the Amethyst, purple is associated with royalty, so name a book with regal qualities and you can base this off a character or choose the king of all books. For this I'm going with The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. This is book one in the Remnant Chronicles and our main character is a princess and there are other kingdoms, so this kind of fits the royalty theme. For March, the birthstone is the aquamarine, which is washed out. So name a wishy-washy character, a character who is not strong, or a follower. For this, I'm going with Emily from Since You've Been Gone. She is 100% a follower. She... She was not her own character. To me, this character didn't have a lot of personality. She just tagged along with her best friend who had a lot of personality and I don't know, she was just there. I didn't like this book and I didn't like this character. April's birthstone is the diamond, so a diamond in the rough. Name a book that you loved but is not well known. I have to go with the Foxhole Court, obviously, even though a lot more people have been reading this series. In the grand scheme of the book community and all of its readers, this is not one of the most popular series. A lot more people have been reading this series, and especially like on my timeline on Twitter and Tumblr, considering I follow people that enjoy this series, it always to me it always feels like, oh, so many people love this series, but I'm well aware that this is not one of the most popular series or well-known series. May's birthstone is the emerald, which is said to balance out energy, so name two characters who balance each other well. For this I'm gonna go with Grace and Dr. Thorn Hollow from A Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGinnis. I just love those two together. Not even necessarily romantically, um, just their friendship and the bond they've created throughout this book and how well they work with each other and balance each other out. I just love them so much. For June, which is my birthday month, the birthstone is Pearl, which is associated with loyalty, so name a character who is loyal to the end. For this I'm going with Gansey from The Raven Cycle. He is so loyal to his friends. I love their friendship. July's birthstone is the Ruby, which is blood red, so name a book that made your blood boil, one that made you angry. I already mentioned this one earlier. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I really, really did not like this book. I give it one star. It involved cheating, which is not okay under any circumstances. For August, we have the Peridot, which is pale green, so it's pale in comparison to other gems. Name a supporting character who you like better than the main character. And at first, at first I really, really struggled with this because I, I couldn't think of anything because I usually like the main characters unless I just dislike the entire book. But I did think of one character that I prefer to its main character and that would be Kale from Throne of Glass. I've made it clear on this channel that I do not like Selena or Throne of Glass in general or Sarah J Maas's books. Not a fan of her writing or her characters except for Kale. I loved Kale and I'm so upset with how she treated him. For September we have the Sapphire, which is blue like the ocean, which is calming. So name a book that had a calming effect on you. 
Fruits Basket by Natsuki Takaya Takaya. This entire series is just incredible. I love it so much. And there's just something about it that I guess I could describe as a calming effect. <sighs> the characters are so wonderful and the stories and just everything about the series. For October, the birthstone is the opal, which is iridescent. So name an iridescent book. And this can be a book with a beautiful cover or you can base it off of a character. So the book that I initially picked out for this question, that book is now wrapped in gift wrap, so I can't really show it, but I can show the cover. The book I chose for this is The Vegetarian by Han Kang, I think it was. And the edition that I have of this is really shiny, like the, I think it was vines or something that was on it. Those parts were shimmery red which was really pretty. For November, we have the Topaz, which is associated with resilience. So name a book with a character who rises to the top in a time of adversity. For this, I chose Kiko from Starfish by Ekami Don Bauman. This is one of my favorite books of this year, maybe of all time. This book was just so amazing, and Kiko is the main reason why I love this book so much. She struggles with a lot of things at the beginning of the story. Her social anxiety, her mother, her uncle who sexually abused her. So many things just piling onto her life and giving her a hard time. And despite those things, she takes things into her own hands and turns her life around and just does things the way she wants to. And I'm doing a really bad job at describing this, but Kiko is amazing. I love her so much. And lastly, we have December with the blue zircon. I don't know how to pronounce that which is associated with friendship. So name a book with a friendship you want to be a part of. My first thought went to the foxes from the Foxhole Court, but to be honest, I'm not sure if I would actually want to be friends with them. Well, actually, I would want to be friends with the girls, Dan, Allison, and Renee. So I guess I'm gonna go with them. The boys would probably terrify me. I also mentioned the Gangsy from the Raven Cycle earlier. I would love to be part of their friend group. They are incredible. So that was the birthstone book tag. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I'm going to tag, I don't know who has done this tag, but I'm gonna go ahead and tag Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment, Sarah from Sarah Without an H. I haven't tagged you in a while. I'm not sure if you're still doing tags, but I'm gonna tag you. And Dylan from Dylan the Reader. I hope you enjoyed watching this. That was it for this time, and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>